I am Wong Guy. Calling me a veteran is just a polite way of saying I'm old. Still, I'd like to see somebody younger than me try to accomplish half of what I can do. We live in turbulent times now. Those yellow turbans are causing unrest throughout the land with their looting and pillaging. This is where we come in. Let's go beat some sense into those bandits. If not to create a better world for future generations, then because it's still too early for me to retire. The world is in chaos, and the age of the Han has crumbled to dust. It is time to venture forth from Xiangdong. Wang Gai, I'm counting on your expertise to help lead the way. A zealot named Zhang Jiao has started a rebellion with a gang he calls the Yellow Turbans. I have joined an army that was created especially to oppose him. Zhang Jiao and his brothers are said to use sorcery, which can supposedly control the elements. If we take them out first, that should put an end to their magic. Now let's do this. Cow Cow, lead your army east. Sun Jian, you attack the center. Meanwhile, this force of volunteers will head around to the altar in the west. Punish the foolish heathens. Shang Mun Shang, receive the power. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Enemy officer obliterated. I won't be denied this time. Enemy officer obliterated. Behold the mystic ways of the yellow turban. God of the winds, come and prevent these foolish beasts from fouling your air! Rise! Rise and blow them away! Stay the course! Aim for the one controlling the wind! Training hard! the tiger's den if you wish to catch a tiger. We shall rebuild the land and do away with these foolish remnants of the Han. I shall lead my people to glorious victory! Now, battle the fools with an invincible opponent! 
opponent! There must be some kind of device producing these phantoms. Excellent work. has called for the creation of a new world. You're fighting alone. You overestimate your abilities. Heaven above. Grant me even greater strength! And some battles you lose. Oh, my soul shall not descend to heaven. Enemy officer obliterated. Someday, the era of defeat. Infidels, you will spread your heresy no more. The bandit leader, Zhang Xiao, has been defeated, along with his lies. Without him, the yellow turbans are finished. As commander, I would like to thank you all for your service. I want all of you to return to your homes and continue to loyally serve the Han. We must ensure that the land never again sees such chaos. took care of those yellow turbans, but a new menace soon revealed itself. This time, it's a tyrant named Dong Zhuo who's causing trouble in the capital. Our lord quickly joined the coalition against Dong Zhuo and led us into battle. The result, Dong Zhuo was defeated and the name of our lord spread throughout the land. However, the chaos soon forced our lord into yet another battle. Let us go, my lord! We must bring an end to the chaos in the name of the Soon family! Wang Gai, you provided valuable service in the battle against the Yellow Turbans. Now a new battle is beginning, and once again, I hope to rely on your skill. This time, Yuan Shu has asked us to defeat Liu Biao of Jing. It is the perfect chance to show our strength and make ourselves known throughout the land. My son, Sei, will take charge of the main army. Meanwhile, you will lead a unit in from the east. I want you to help me set a good example for the younger generation. I'll lead an attack from the west. Sei, you take the main gate. Zheng Zheng, you take the east. Sun Jian, what business do you have bringing your family here? You should go back to hunting along the Xiangdong. Silence! I will not listen to Liu Biao's lapdog! I claim this land of Jing in the name of the Sun family! There's no escaping me, Huang Zhu.
This war has only just begun. You should have brought your allies with you. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer obliterated. All right, that's the way to do it. You've walked right into my trap, you half-wit. I'm too badly injured. I have to withdraw. My children, the fate of our family is in your hands. It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Enemy officer obliterated. Liu Biao, you'll pay for what you've done. Come! Hit me with everything you got! I shall be your opponent. I will crush you! I'm not gonna die here! Time to run! It's about time I faced a worthy opponent. Enemy officer obliterated! Strike swiftly. You're by yourself. You must have some courage. Might was not enough. Enemy officer obliterated. We wiped out that punk Yu Biao and captured Jing. That ought to teach those across the land not to mess with us. I'm worried about father. With him in this condition, I have to do my best. We must be sure that we are fully prepared for the battle ahead. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a brilliant youth. slain on the battlefields of Jin. His son eventually suffered the same fate, while this old bag of bones still lives on. Fate can truly be cruel sometimes. However, I mustn't let despair overcome me. I shall carry on the spirit of Wu and make sure it's inherited.
for generations to come. I will defeat Kao Kao here at Chibi and lead the way to the Central Plain. Zhou Yu has entrusted me with an important role in this battle. I must live up to his expectations and bring victory to Wu with a wall of fire. We shall join forces with Liu Bei and meet the common threat presented to us by Kao Kao at Chi Bi. The fate of the land will hinge on our ability to drive back their giant fleet. Wang Gai, I am placing you in charge of the task force. On my signal, I want you to prepare the ship that we will set afire. I shall arrange for protection so the task force can carry out its mission. In order to win this battle, we will need to use various clever strategies. The most important of these is being entrusted with you, one of our most stalwart officers. This battle has us treading in very dangerous waters. If we are to defeat Cao Cao's army, it is absolutely essential that you complete your missions. Men, this river shall guide us to our future! This time we'll face our enemy with fire. Follow Zhou Yu's instructions and bring home a victory. Stand your ground until their offensive subsides! denied next time. Enemy officer, obliterate me! Denied next time. Enemy officer obliterated. Excellent time. Let's finish this. This is tough. Why not knock down the bridge? The battle's ours when we seal off the sensor route. Oh, that's quite impressive. Well, I guess I can retreat just this once. Enemy officer obliterated. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer obliterated. That went quite well, if I do say so myself.
But this battle is far from over. Now, the difficult part begins. about that? Plan worked, Master Zhou Yu. The fire will be twice as deadly if they can't move. Blocking their route was brilliant. Task unit, occupy the central enemy ship. Do you wish to die? Then let me help. I still have much to accomplish. Enemy officer obliterated. Hey, they're pretty tough. Not the way I would have done it. Begin preparing the ship! Look, I shall teach you about battle. Someday, you shall pay for this. Enemy officer obliterated! <laughs> the Great River of Zhangdong runs red with the blood of Cao Cao's fleet. Who could have predicted the results of this battle? They shall surely talk about the exploits of our fleet for generations to come. With this defeat, the strength of Cao Cao's army has surely been weakened. This is the chance we've been waiting for. We must put a stop to Cao Cao before he has time to regroup. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is famous in two kingdoms for remarkable intellect. <laughs> the victory at Chi Bi divided the land into three parts between us, Liu Bei, and Cao Cao. We are making progress. However, the chaos soon forced our lord into yet another battle. We are about to attack the barbarians living in the south. The promising Lu Xu will be leading this attack. May this young new leader guide Wu to victory. Due to the heavy damage we inflicted on Wei at the Battle of Heifei, the land has come to know a moment's peace. We must use this to our advantage and wipe out our enemies in the south. The enemy is centered around their king, Meng Huo, and they all appear to be like one big family. This unity cannot be underestimated. This battle could very well prove to be difficult. But having served three generations of the Sun family, your loyalty shall cause them to tremble in fear. Let's go. Forward! 
Run them down and take control. Face the worthy opponent. Enemy officer obliterated. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. to run into the enemy here. Think you could overcome this base? I will crush you. Damn! How'd we lose that base? You're 
look pretty good. What are you gonna do now, huh? We have defeated the Nanmon King named Wu. We secured the lands of Nanmon. The resources here shall increase the strength of Wu tremendously. We no longer need fear of being attacked from behind. Finally, we can realize the dream of a land united under Wu. Shall our opponent be Cao Cao or Liu Bei, it doesn't matter. Nobody can stop the crest of power which we now ride. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is renowned in three kingdoms as a brilliant youth. After conquering the South, we used that momentum to go on and defeat Wei. All that remains in our path is the broken down kingdom of Shu, Sun Jian, Sun Se, and Sun Quan. I am proud to serve three generations of such fine warriors. There is no other officer more fortunate than I. Let us make the Sun family's dream a reality by winning here at Pai Di Castle. My lord, let us get going. The land will soon be ours. Ah, the land we have struggled to achieve lies before us. The only enemy left in our way is Shu, and their commander, Liu Chan, is at Baidi Castle, which shall serve as the place for the final battle. This battle is going to prove to be a difficult siege. Huang Gai, you go from the left and work your way up to the outskirts of the mountain. Your target is the enemy commander, Liu Chan. Wong Dai, you are truly a general that we can be proud of. Wu needs this battle in order to unite the land, so please give it your all. The time has come for us to realize our destiny. Get out of my way. Now the three kingdoms divided by Zhuge Liang shall be as one! Let's go! This has long been the dream of my family. Today it shall be realized. My lord, victory is almost ours. It will not be long before you achieve what your brother had always dreamed of. Wong Guy, let's win the day and then drink until morning. Whatever you say, that sounds mighty good to me.
Charge! This whole land will soon be ours! We'll surround Baidi Castle. The main army shall protect the center. Wong Gai will begin encirclement from the left flank, while Zhou Tai secures a space for our reinforcements on the right. This is our country, and we'll defend it ourselves. Officer of Literate. You seem a bit cocky. You obviously know nothing of battle. Obliterated! So, Wu would attack even the innocent. Officer, obliterated! Your strength is quite impressive! They're trying to take the base! Stop them! Not going very well. They will not get past us so easily. Stop. 
stop me? Officer obliterated. is quite impressive. My blade will make you pay for your injustice. Justice is with me. Prepare yourself. to meet my end? Enemy officer obliterated! Jotai, leave this to us and return to our master. You fulfilled your duty. Go and treat your wounds. Thank you. We have fallen right into the enemy's hands. Left unfulfilled. Enemy officer obliterated. My ambitions left unfulfilled. Enemy officer obliterated. We captured Bai D Castle and killed Liu Chan as well, bringing an end to Shu and his dreams of a land of virtue. Perhaps it was too great of an ideal to be realized. What the people want is to live a life of peace, and the kingdom of Wu shall be able to give that life to them. We must work hard to create a land that would not be ridiculed by Cao Cao or Liu Bei. <laughs> A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a veteran of great ability. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords 
vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Huang Gai from the Lingling region. Although raised in poverty, Huang Gai trained hard in the martial arts to become one of the toughest warriors of his time. In 184 AD, he joined Sun Jian's army immediately upon hearing of the draft. He dedicated himself to Sun Jian's campaigns against the Yellow Turbans and Dong Zhuo, contributing tremendously in both. When Sun Jian was killed by an enemy arrow during an attack against Liu Biao in Jing, it was Huang Gai who cheered up a depressed Sun Se and helped the Sun family escape disaster. When Sun Se passed away, Sun Quan became the new ruler of Wu. Huang Gai dedicated his life to supporting Sun Quan's efforts to achieve the dreams of his father and brother thus strengthening the bond between the old and the new. During the Battle of Chi Bi, Huang Gai's efforts resulted in a successful fire attack, securing a miraculous victory for Wu. He continued to serve and protect Sun Quan in subsequent battles, despite his old age. Wu prevailed, and the days of fighting finally came to an end. Perhaps the most loyal warrior to the Sun family, Huang Gai served three generations of Sun family leaders and spent the remainder of his life protecting Wu. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on today. The legendary warriors are praised and respected as if they were the gods themselves. My lord, Lord Sun Se. Hey. Lord Sun Quan has made your dream a reality. Wang Gai. Wine is best drunk with friends. Wouldn't you say? Agreed. Today, we must celebrate our victory.